The topic of this video is solving logarithmic and exponential equations. Let's look at a problem. Solve 2 times 5 to the 5x power equals 3 for x. We're going to use tips 1 and 8 in this problem. All right, so tip 1 is going to use our converter. At some point, we're going to need our converter in this problem. And tip 8 says if you get an answer, be sure to check it. So let's take a look at one thing before we even begin solving this problem. There is no log in this equation, so therefore we do not have to do the domain. But we do notice that the variable we're being asked to solve for is up in the exponent. So when your variable is up in the exponent, we know that at some point we're going to need to use the converter. And since there's no log in the equation, it's the exponent side of the converter that we're going to use. Now the exponent side of the converter has a place for three things, a base, an exponent, and an argument. Let's see if we can identify what those three things are in this problem. Well, our base is 5. Our exponent is 5x. And our argument is 3. So then, that leads us to the logical question, what's this 2? Well, this 2 is a hindrance. It's in our way. It's stopping us from being able to use our converter. To use the converter, you have to have a place for everything and everything in its place. Nothing missing, nothing extra. So how do we get rid of the 2? Well, the 2 is multiplying by our exponential. So if we do the opposite, divide, that should allow us to achieve our goal. So let's divide both sides by 2. These 2's cancel to the number 1. Anything times 1 is itself. Anything divided by 1 is itself. So on the left, we now have 5 to the 5x power. And the right, we now have 3 halves. This is perfect because now we have one of each of the three things that we need. We have a base, which is 5. We have an exponent, which is 5x. And we have an argument, which is 3 halves. So we can use our converter starting on the exponent side. 5 raised to the power 5x equals 3 halves. Now match up the colors and shapes. So on the left, we'll have log base 5 of 3 halves equals 5x. So we can now write this statement. Log base 5 of 3 halves equals 5x. This is a good time to remind ourselves that each log has a brick. And nothing outside of that brick can affect anything inside of the brick. The other thing we want to pay attention to is this is what 5x equals. But what we want to be able to figure out is what x equals. So we divide both sides by 5. And when we do, we acknowledge that this 5 cannot interact with either of these two numbers because they are inside the brick. These 5s cancel, leaving us with the answer x equals log base 5 of 3 halves all divided by 5. It's very important that this fraction bar goes all the way across. The entire logarithm is being divided by 5. All right, with no domain to compare to, we're left to believe that this is our final answer. But you should always check your answers to make sure that they are right. So let's plug into our equation and see if we got a right answer. Putting things back the way they were. This was a 2 before I crossed it out. All right, so now we have 2 times 5 raised to the 5x, and x is this fraction, log base 5 of 3 halves divided by 5 equals 3. All right, there's a lot going on here, but one of the things that will make this a little easier is to notice that this 5, which is the same as 5 over 1, this 5 is in the numerator, this 5 is in the denominator, and those are going to cancel. So now we have 2 times 5 to the log base 5 of 3 halves equals 3. Next, we're going to use one of our log rules. Let me make a little space here. We know that a raised to the log base a of m equals m. And that is exactly what's going on in this particular situation. This base and this base match. a raised to the log base a of m 
equals m. So everything in the parentheses here is just going to equal m, which is 3 halves. So we get 2 times 3 halves equals 3. And of course, this 2 can be written as 2 over 1, which means this 2 and this 2 cancel to 1. So on the left side, I get 3. On the right side, I get 3. And that proves that the final answer is correct. So our final answer to this problem is here. Log base 5 of 3 halves all divided by 5. Let me clear a little space to write that clearly. We have confirmed our final answer. x equals log base 5 of 3 halves all divided by 5.